a very good day to all of you welcome to this class of science in this video we will complete the chapter the fundamental unit of life we have already covered two parts of the cell plasma membrane and nucleus let's see the next one it is the jelly like mixture of chemicals where most of the work of the cell takes place it contains many specialized cell organelles we will see all these cell organelles first is endoplasmic reticulum it is large network of membrane bound tubes and sheets there are two type of er rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum in rough endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes are present on its surface smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in the manufacture of fat molecules er serve as channel for the transport of materials function as a cytoplasmic framework providing a surface for some biochemical reactions ser detoxify many drugs and poisons in liver cells of vertebrates here you can see rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum in plant cell here you can see rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum in animal cell you must know the term membrane biogenesis the proteins and lipids manufactured by endoplasmic reticulum helps in building the cell membrane this process is known as membrane biogenesis next is golgi apparatus it is the system of membrane bound vesicles arranged parallel to each other in stacks called cistern it packed and dispatched various materials synthesized near the er various targets it is involved in storage modification and packaging of products it involved in the formation of lysosomes it synthesize complex sugar from simple in some cases here you can see golgi apparatus in plant cell here you can see golgi apparatus in animal cell next is lysosomes it is the kind of waste disposal system the membrane bound sacs filled with digestive enzymes it helps to keep the cell clean by digesting any foreign material as well as worn out cell organelles it contain powerful digestive enzymes capable of breaking down all organic material it is called suicidal bags because when the cell gets damaged lysosomes may burst and enzymes digest their own cell here you can see lysosome in plant cell here you can see lysosomes in animal cell next is mitochondria it is the power house of the cell it releases energy for various activities in the form of atp atp is also known as energy currency of the cell there are two membrane coverings outer covering is porous and inner membrane is deeply folded to create a large surface area for atp generating reactions they are having their own dna and ribosomes here you can see mitochondria in plant cell here 
you can see mitochondria in animal cell next is plastid it is present only in plant cells it consists of various layers embedded in material called stroma there are two types of plastids chromoplast and leucoplast plastid containing green pigment chlorophyll are called chloroplast chloroplast is important for photosynthesis leucoplast stores some materials such as starch oil and protein granules they are having their own dna in ribosomes you can see chloroplast in plant cell next is vacuole it is storage sacs for solid or liquid content it is small sized in animal cell while large sized in plant cell it is full of cell sap and provide turbidity and rigidity to plant cell it store amino acids sugars various organic acids and some proteins there are some specialized vacuoles that expel excess water and some waste in some unicellular organisms here you can see some small sized vacuole in animal cell now we will see difference between animal and plant cells plant cells cell wall is present plastids are present vacuole is one and large sized animal cell cell wall is absent plastids are absent a number of small sized vacuoles are present dear students we have completed this chapter thank you and have a nice day to all